So we just need to go over there now. Why, mister, you're here? But as I figured, he's not with you. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Nothing. Have you finished preparing? Sure, let's try it. Uh. Yeah, let's battle. It seems you finished preparations. The deck I play is called the Queen of Theater Square. Remember its name because it's about to desire you? Okay, listen. I think we'll just keep our normal. Ah, of course, Queen Alexandra Birdwing. She would use last resort for some reason. Oh! Wow, this wasn't that hard. Our giraffe stag beetle is poppin'. I lost? She doesn't seem quite like the other kids. I thought if I managed to beat you, I could fight Hiroshi. Hiroshi? Never heard of him. He was with you in the arcade on Nakamishi Street. Oh, you mean the professor. I didn't know his name was Hiroshi. Haven't you been the professor's friend for a while now? Yes, Hiroshi and I used to go to the same tutoring center. But I haven't seen him at all lately. He stopped going to the lessons then? Yes, he won't come to this arcade anymore either. When I heard he's on the when I heard he was at the other arcade, I went to see him, but I think he's avoiding me. I could hardly even catch a glimpse of his face, let alone talk to him. This is starting to sound depressing. <laughs> I'll talk to the professor. Tell him you were worried. Huh? huh? No, you don't have to. It feels kinda embarrassing. He must have a reason he's acting this way. Just give him time to figure it out. Mister, Hi. I understand. I'll leave it to, in your hands then. Uh, no. 
Here, if you like, please use this for me. I only use butterflies after all. The Lost King. I said I would talk to him. I should keep my word. Alright, we'll head back over. Well, I can definitely level up, too. I also want to go, or I want to gather all the locker keys, and I'm trying to think of places I haven't been. I think I've been here. Have we been to Debula? Oh, without it being like a story quest? Sorry, lady. Oh, what's happening? Beat King's misfortune. You think you can fuck with Yakuza and get away with it? Shut the hell up! That's the gang Takashi was running with. It looks like they're in an argument with some Yakuza. Hey, guys. Good. Hey, what's going on? You're the guy from before. Step off, this ain't shit. Oh, your boyfriend here to rescue you? Hell no, this fool's got jack shit to do with us. Yo, bro, this ain't looking so good, though. Shut your mouth. We can take these chumps. Heh. <laughs> Looks like you got some guts, I'll give you that. But it's better if you just leave the money and beat it. Uh? Fuck that! You started this fight, but we're not afraid to end it. You'll have to kill us before you get a single damn yen, oh my god. You think? Then that's just what we'll do. Take your best shot, you sorry you accuse of shit. Something bad is about to go down if I don't step in. Yeah, we'll help out. My goodness. He doesn't need my help. Oh. He could have definitely handled this. Uh oh. Damn it, you better watch your backs from now on. What? Hey, are you alright? Forget it. We didn't ask for your help. Just tell me what happened. Some Yakuza picked a fight with one of our boys, trying to shake him down for all his cash. We were just getting some payback. But then that Yakuza asshole called in his backups and you know the rest. I see. Well, never thought I'd say this, but I appreciate the help. Here's some shit they dropped when they ran away. We don't need it, so it's yours, Holmes. Brawler amulet. What does it do? Ooh, okay. Well, it was kind of, that's kind of funny because I, I just got 200 takedowns with Brawler in that fight. Steer clear of the Yakuza from now on. They're bad news. <laughs> that game's getting to be a real pain in my ass. <laughs> I wonder where Kano is, speaking of pains in my ass. Alright, we're going to Debula. So now we've been here. But we haven't been inside without getting distracted by a quest. The quest we came here with. Oh, I can't even go in? 
What? Do I have to pay? Surely not. Ah. Can't even talk to anyone. Lost some booty. Oh, I can go below. <laughs> Alright, what's in here anyway? Can I dance? Well, there is a shiny in here, thankfully. Is there a, a butterfly card as well? I don't even know how many butterfly cards there are. I know. Oh! Um, excuse me. Huh? Can I ask you something? Do you know where I could find the platform here? A platform? Huh? I don't think this club has one. Oh, really? How sad. I was hoping they have one here. Sorry to disappoint, but a platform? That's nostalgic. They were pretty turned in the disco clubs during the bubble economy. Oh wow, you were in the disco clubs during the bubble? Huh? Yeah, back when I was 20 years old or so. I used to be a regular, popping in to dance my cares away. We were! Oh wow. Can you tell me more about what it was like to dance- to go to the disco club in the bubble? Mm. Well, the women were dancing in these gaudy tight dresses, the men would hit on them relentlessly, and everyone drank like fish. <laughs> it was kind of one long drunken party. I see. That must be must have been quite a sight to behold. Uh. Yeah. But why are you so interested? Uh. Oh, there's a roll up for a movie set in the disco clubs of the bubble economy area. The movie is called Disco Queen of Love. And I'm an aspiring actress and I'm going to audition for the lead role. I see. So you're trying to learn about the time period. Yeah, I heard disco clubs had platforms during the bubble. I wanted to see one in person, so I came here. But I turned 20 this year, so I was just a kid during the bubble. But if I want to play a part of someone who really lived in that era convincingly, I figured I'd try to learn more about the bubble economy myself. I see. That's pretty dedicated. <laughs> Thank you. I've always wanted to be an actress ever since I was a little girl. That's why I don't cut corners, even when it comes to the smallest details. Huh. Well, good luck. I hope you can nail down the error somehow. Hi. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I should have introduced myself. I'm Aya Yabuki, and you are? Kiru. So, you were a regular at the disco clubs during the bubble, right? Mm hmm? Yeah, I guess. Um, if you don't mind, would you mind telling me more about what it was like back, in, back then? Daddy. What? <sighs> if I can get real details from someone who actually lived the bubble economy, I think I could nail that, that audition. The stories of someone like you would help me recreate the true bubble economy persona. persona. Mm. Well, I see your point, but why ask me? Your parents were probably aware of how things were. <laughs> My parents are a couple of country folks. They never left their town, and they wouldn't know a thing about disco clubs or the bubble. I see. So, can I rely on you to tell me a little more about it, Kirisa? Please help me. Sure, why not? <sighs> sure, I guess I can make some time. Thank you very much. But I wouldn't even know where to start. What kind of information about the bubble economy would you want? Mm. Hmm, let's see. Huh? Oh, I heard people did some weird stuff to hail a cab. What did they do? Hail a cab? Oh, I remember that huh? one. Re really? Uh. Cabs were pretty popular back then. People would st stay out par late partying at a disco club or something, and the cabs were the best way to get home. It kind of it got kind of competitive, so people would do interesting things to get the cabbie's attention. Like what? I'm trying to remember what we did to hail cabs. What the hell? Probably this. They potty slammed the cabs. Oh my god. We used to flash our 10,000 yen bills at the cab drivers. Huh? How would the cab driver have seen it? Well, we'll hold them in our hands and wave them around like this. What? Is that really what people did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Back then, a cab drivers had the luxury of picking their passengers. If the destination was too close, they actually refused to take the job. So we waved 10,000 yen bills to indicate that we were going far away and willing to pay the drivers. Are you serious? Wow, the bubble economy was so intense. But that's really good info to know. I think that tells me a lot about the lifestyle. <laughs> that's good. Hi. But I need to know more. Please, tell me more about the bubble economy era. Uh. Sure. 
What else do you want to know? Let's see. I'm really curious about how relationships worked. I'm sure dating was quite different then. Hmm, dating, huh? Thinking back on it, one of the popular things guys did was drive women around in their cars. You mean like they take their girlfriends places? That sounds pretty normal. Guys still take their girlfriends places today, you know. Yeah. No, see, most of the time they weren't even dating yet. Women would ask guys to drive them around, but most of those guys ended up never making it past friends. Huh? What? So men went through the trouble of driving women around even though they weren't together? Uh. Yeah. Especially if they had a nice car. A nice car would mean they had money. But since everyone had money, men really had to go out of their way to impress girls. Wow, I see. So men had to really work hard to get a girl's attention then. Huh? Now that I think about it, didn't those guys have kind of a silly nickname? I thought I remembered hearing that once. Mm. What was it? Runner boys? Doggy boys? No. Uh. Oh yeah, they did have a nickname. I knew it! Do you remember what it was, Karasan? Mm. Hmm, it was a name that made fun of them for driving one around just because they told them to. I don't recall this. I doubt it's lock knee lads, so it has to be leg lock lads or leg lads. Leg lock lads sounds too long, so I think it's leg lads. I remember now. It was leg lads. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Leg lads. Mm. But why did they call them that? Because those women used them as a means of transportation? Kind of like using the men as their legs? Oh, I see. But it's a little sad that they got made fun of when they were just trying to do something nice. Heh, <laughs> you're right. Women had lots of nicknames for men back then. There were, gr there were grub buds, gift guys, and keeper cunts. <laughs> men got pretty carried away with all the money they had. But women weren't innocent either. If they were the type to get a lot of attention, they went overboard too. So the economy was good, and everyone was high-spirited to a fault, huh? But that story really helped me understand the mindset of young men and women at the time. That's good. Hi. Yeah. Please, tell me more about the bubble economy era. I guess I could tell you about the disco clubs you were seeing you wanted to hear about. Oh, finally! This is the setting of the movie I'm auditioning for, so I'm really looking forward to this. A disco club was pretty similar to the club, actually. This, there was a dance floor and off to the side some VIP rooms. Men and women would basically just dance, drink, and party. I see. I've seen old footage TV, old footage on TV and stuff, but I guess disco clubs weren't so different than today's clubs. <laughs> oh, but I did notice something different about the women in the disco club footage I saw. Hmm? hmm? What is it? Mm. Well, the clothes, for one. The women in the footage were wearing these really tight dresses and they had this weird thing in their hands. The fan? What was up with those dresses, and what was that thing they had in their hands? Odd dresses and an item in their hand. The way disco women dressed, huh? What were they wearing and holding? A sailor dress and a katana, a leotard and a ribbon, a bodycon and dress, and a fan. It's that one. They definitely had the fans. Uh. Oh, I remember now. They were wearing bodycon dresses and holding fans. Uh. A bodycon dress? Uh. Yeah. It's short for body conscious. It was the trend at the time to sh really show off the body and to hold a fan while dancing. I think the fans were called feather fans. <laughs> wow, I never heard of that before. <laughs> I guess that's what happens to trends. I want to wear one of those to my audition. Kirisan, do you happen to have one? Nani. What? Why on earth would I have one? Have those? <sighs> oh, I suppose that's true. But I would love to try those from on for my addition to really recreate the area. Bodycon dress and a feather fan in my hand. Uh, Kirisan, if you happen to find those items, would you mind bringing them back to me here? What? Why would I have to do your shopping for you? Please, I beg of you. I'm not saying it needs to happen for sure, but if you do find them, I'd love to try them on, that's all. <sighs> Fine. But who knows if I could ever get a hold of those, of those, so I can't guarantee I'll come back. Hi. I understand. Thank you. How did I get ripped into this? Oh well, I guess if I find them somewhere, I can bring them back to her. Now that I think about it though, did I see those on sale at Don Quintos? Quintos? How do you say his name? I'm guessing we can't dance here. Okay. Well, she wants a bodycon dress and a feather fan. It's not too bad. Well, I'm glad we came in here for more reasons than one now. I'm 
gonna check out the, the building anyway, just in case. I don't remember if we've been in there when it, uh, main mission, like with Debola. If it lets us. I'm stuck, hello? Oh god. Wait, do we have... Is it on the rush mode? I guess we can't go in there? Well, hopefully we can go back. If there is something in there. What? Where? Hello? Butterfly, though. Okay, whatever. Um. Right, we need to go to here to get the stuff. Have we finished pronto? We have not. All right, let's eat it pronto and go. Go down to the shop to get her, her stuff. just sit here and finish it because they only let me get one drink that's so stupid oh snap I haven't finished the food Say we've completed it? We haven't completed it? What have we not eaten? Am I crazy? That's interesting. So, like a secret thing here or something? How do I do it? I 
interesting that there's a butterfly there. Anyway. Oh, it's a Zobie's fan. That's great. Oh. All right. We should probably go to the pawn shop while we're down here. So we can um sell some things that we have like plates and rings and all that. We should probably think about getting something for... Oh, I bought these already. Checked out the Mahjong parlor, I think, for if there was a key. I don't know if we can go back in there. And I definitely know I haven't been in the show the Shoten place because I don't want to play that either. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. So I kinda wanna check that place out. Excuse me. Oh wait, this is that fancy place we can buy something probably for Rena. Oh. Wait, I can wear that? What? Oh, is this like things for us to wear to impress them? Hold on. Please tell me there's a... Oh, shit. Please tell me there's a... Oh, God, a phone booth nearby. There is. Okay, first, show to... Uh... There we go. No butterflies, though? That's disappointing. Alright, I'm out.
All right, let me put some stuff up and then I'll buy some stuff for me and her. So she'll like me more when I get there. Like, if I wear this, she'll like me. Right? Like, I wonder what the cologne will do. Irasemase. Any of these will work. So this is just for us to look nice when going to talk to Rina or whoever the other girl is because I haven't even went to go see the other girl yet. That's nice. I'll keep those on. I'll keep those on hand so before we go in to see them. All right, we got the body con. Have we been to both of those? Well, I'm gonna go check the the lockers anyway, see how many more we have left, because I don't know. And along the way, I will check out that place. Let me in. Bruh, that's so hidden. How would you have known? What the hell? Wrong way. Alright, dudes, let's go. 
Repair kit. Give up peace for C. Meteor fragment. What? Small fortune. Ooh. Springy arm guard. Toughness infinity. So all we're missing is J4 and J5? Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go to Debola and give her this stuff. So she can be the best at her addition. Did you bring me the bodycon dress and the feather fan? Uh, yeah, I got them for you. Huh? You did? R really? It's not something I lie about. Here you go. Yes, they're just like the ones I saw the woman wearing in the video. Um, are you sure I can have these? Uh, not like I have any use for them. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Be right back. I'm going to go try them on. Okay. <laughs> right here? Kira-san, thank you for waiting. Oh? Wow. You look pretty good in that dress. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Hey, check it out. Huh? huh? That dress. <laughs> I gotta admit, that's really sexy. Oh. Hey, looks like you're starting to turn some heads. Uh, I, I guess so. This outfit is pretty flashy. How embarrassing. The women at the time probably weren't too embarrassed because everyone was wearing similar dresses. But when you're the only one, you kind of stand out. A lot. Well, if you're happy with it, why don't you change back? Oh? Boy. Hey, what's going on? No! I won't change. If I'm too embarrassed just to wear it, then there's no way I'll be able to audition for it. Or in it. I need to capture the spirit of the error. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm dressed for dancing, so that's what I'm gonna do. Are you sure? Yes. I bet I can even pull off some moves I saw in the footage at home. I see. But you know you're gonna call a lot of attention to yourself, right? People might think you're crazy or weird. <laughs> I'll be fine. Keep your eyes on me, curious son. Uh, okay. Sure. I should keep my distance in a way thinks I'm crazy too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> She's singing. <laughs> This is hilarious. Oh. Hey, what's going on here? What a cool dance. <laughs> hey, you got the moves, girl. Huh. <laughs> he said he wanted to keep his dishes so he didn't appear weird, but look at him just like peeking around the corner. Oh, she does dance pretty well. <laughs> You're having so much fun. Can I join you? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm loving this. 
She's really got the crowd moving. Maybe she's just that, the kind of person who draws others to her. Uh, weird dude. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. You're a great dancer. We should dance again soon. Hi. I'd love to, okay? See ya. Nice. Thanks for waiting, Kiri-san. <laughs> you got the whole club going. Hi. Yes, the customers around me were really into it. I had so much fun. Dancing in this dress made me feel like I could do things I wouldn't normally try. I bet the women who lived in those days of disco felt the same way. I see. Well, they say clothes make the attitude. Hi. Yes, and it's all thanks to you for giving me the bodycon dress and feather fan. I can't thank you enough. No problem. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I have a word? Huh? Um, sure. Huh? Who's this guy? That's a lovely outfit you got on. My outfit? You mean this bodycon dress? Oh, so you know what's what it's called, huh? Hi. Of course. It's short for body conscious, I'm told. Hey. Oh, you know your stuff. You look pretty young, but you must be familiar with the bubble economy area, huh? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. I know about how pretty people used to wave 10,000 yen bills to hail, uh, to hail a cab anyway. Oh, you're right. But do you know why? Yeah. Well, unlike today, the cab drivers could be more selective about their passengers, so to flag them down, people needed to indicate they, they had more money to go oh, so far. Wait, had the money to go far, right? <laughs> That's correct. Oh god, is this what like my answers would be tested? Oh no. Then you must know about the young men who would drive their la lady friends around instead of using the cabs. <laughs> oh, you mean the leg, leg lads? <laughs> oh god, please tell me that's what they're called. There are also grub buds, keeper cuns, and gift guys. Pretty sad nicknames, but pretty interesting times. <laughs> well, that's just wonderful. Oh good, I was right. Hold on just a second. Why are you asking her all these questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. I'm a film director. The name's Yamada. A film director? Yeah. Yes. I came to the club to see if I could scout talent for the next pro Disco Queen of Love. That's when I saw this young lady dancing in the body conjure. <gasps> hey! Hey, Aya, isn't that the movie? Yes! That's the movie I was going to audition for in this dress. Is that so? Well, that certainly makes everything a lot easier then. Aya-san, would you like to be a cast in my next film? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Really? Uh. Yeah, you really captured the essence of the bubble era, and your charisma has met me t quite taken. Oh my gosh. Are you sure somebody like me is qualified to play the lead role? Uh. Yeah, I think you're perfect. Thank you very much. If you take me, I'd love to do it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. <laughs> That's some good fortune. I feel like I'm walking on air. Kira-san, I can't thank you enough for your help. I didn't do much. You were the one who studied hard and let yourself cut loose on the dance floor in front of everyone. You deserve it. Thank you, but I can't leave without thanking you in some way. Please, take this. Double feathered fans. <laughs> well, I'm so happy. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but be warned, I can be kind of a bear on set. Get all your tears out now, okay? <gasps> oh, of course, sir. You can be as strict with me as you need to be. Uh. Great attitude. Let's make a wonderful film. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'll get going then. Looking forward to seeing you on the big screen. Please do, Kiro-san. Thank you very much. Very much. Oh, thank you very, very much. Aw, that's sweet. A little hint of the past. Oh, I do miss dancing. The bubble economy, huh? I wonder if things will ever be like that time again. <sighs> it was a fun time. I did love the disco. And zero. Ah. It's sad that we can't dance in this one. At least so far. I guess we should get back to the arcade down there. Oh, 
wow. Oh, good. Now we can see everything. I kinda like that. Hi. We'll see Rena after this. We'll go to the arcade first and then we'll see Rena. Did Haim Chan say something? Uh. Yeah, she was worried since you haven't been at the tutoring center. Have you been skipping out on study mm -hmm. sessions? Uh, no way, that's not true. Maybe she just didn't see me. I was there. I wonder why Haim Chan would say that. <laughs> Friends shouldn't lie to each other, you know. <sighs> Sorry, I haven't been going to the tutoring center lately. Is there a reason? Until last year, I always went to my grandparents' home to catch bugs during summer break. But this year, I couldn't go back to the countryside because of my tutor center's summer session. I couldn't catch bugs. That's when I found Messy King at the game center. When I just happened to pass by and see it, I got completely hooked. Stress builds up quickly if all you do is study. Taking a break can be just as important. But I got really hooked on it. It even cost me my best friend after I completely destroyed him in a battle. You mentioned that, but I don't know the full story. That's why it became difficult for me to go to the arcade on Theater Avenue or the, to the tutoring center. Professor. That's not true, Professor. <gasps> Masashi-kun, what are you doing here? Mm. Masashi? So this is... Mm. Yeah. He, he used to be my best friend. Hey, Mas Masashi-kun. What do you mean that's not true? I didn't leave this place because you beat me at Misukin. I had to transfer to another town and quit tutoring lessons. Mm. What? That's really what happened? So then... Do you still play Misukin? Mm. Yeah, I still go to the arcade on Theater Avenue. I'm the number one player at the arcade. You're the top player at Theater Avenue? I heard that the professor was at the Nakamichi, Sh Nakamichi Street Arcade along with this really strong man. I couldn't just sit around, so I came here to battle with you. You came to see? Me? Mm. Yeah, so what do you say, professor? You up for a challenge? Uh, of course. Aw, it's a misunderstanding. Go! <laughs> You're definitely one of the best, Professor. Masashi-kun, I'm sorry about the other time. What? Professor, I'm sorry about it too. Looks like you two have made up. Aren't you glad, Professor? It's thanks to Master King and you, mister. Thank you so much. And Masashi, was it? I'm glad you came to see the Professor. Hi. Yeah. If you hadn't been playing Messi King, I don't think I would have came here. Thank you so much, mister. Mm. Looks like everything's all settled uh -huh. now. Hey, mister. Mm. Mm. I have one more request. I want to battle you, okay? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it, kid. Uh. Hi. Oh, yeah, I'll show you what what I'm made of. Alright, let's see it. We'll stay with our giraffe stag beetle. No, I said no. <laughs> Alright, we know what ours look like. <gasps> he has one too! We know it's the good one. Oh, snap. Oh, good. That's interesting that he would use blue. Click 
Gretchen though. Man, you're really strong. <laughs> you are pretty strong too, Masashi. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't think I could have battles as intense as th these two times were. This is a token of my gratitude. It's just a duplicate of the one I have, mister. But I want to give it to you. Tiebreaker. Oh. Oh yeah? I appreciate it. Sashi Khan, you did great. You did a great job. <laughs> Thanks. Hearing you say that makes me happy, Professor. Professor and Mister, I'll be at the arcade on Theater Avenue. Let's battle there. Okay. I'll definitely battle there for sure. Uh. Yeah, me too. See you guys later. Aw. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Professor. Hmm? Thanks, Mister. Is that it? Oh, mister, are you gonna play Mr. King? Our ga one game is... Battle seriously with the professor. Mm. Hmm, well, can I battle you in a serious match, professor? <laughs> <laughs> At your level, I won't beat you if I hold back. Oh. Let's have a serious battle. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> I still think... Draft Stag Beetle's my best chance. I guess don't try to fix what's not broken. Guess that's what we're going with. Oh god. Hercules Beetle. Hercules Beetle. Okay. Exclamation mark of the red. <gasps> I shouldn't have done it. Oh no. Holy shit. Good. I don't want to be wrong. Oh, 
Oh, okay, good. Oh, we won. That was crazy. I could have been bad. Throne of the Mystic King. I didn't think I could lose. I didn't think I could win, to be honest. It was really close. It frustrates me that I lost, but part of me feels happy to think that there are, there could still be even stronger players yet to be discovered. <laughs> hey, mister, take a look at this. Hmm? This is the card I got right before our battle, mister. Is that card... Yep, it is. This is the same card as the one you found for me when I went... When we met for the first time. Yeah. That's right. I remember. I've always wanted you to have this card so we can both have one, mister. Please take it. Nice. Let's stay friends and play again soon, Mr. Misuki. Yeah. Sure. I look forward to it. I can always use more Misuki. <laughs> I'll think up a new amazing deck to outwit you, mister. You can try hard, but you need to come to tutoring, too. Oh. Oh, hi, Michan. You can't be playing Messy King all the time. There is a lot of schoolwork to do, too. Uh, yes. Oh, Mr. Messy King. Battle with me. Nuh uh. I'm going to have Mr. give me a lesson first. I want to see how he uses his bees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tohiro, this is the card you wanted, right? I already have one, so I bought an extra for you to have. Aw, Professor, I want to tell you I want to tell you about the deck I want to play. Hey, Professor, I'm here to play. Aw, everyone. All right, today, let's all play Mr. King. Yay! To think that such a wholesome children's game could exist. Battle Bug Beauties, Mr. King. Thank you. <laughs> Sure, wholesome, okay. <laughs> uh. That's so sweet. 